Welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be showing you how I got the look that I'm wearing here. It is a bold red lip and big eyelashes with kind of a more natural eyeshadow to account for all the boldness going on. So um, this would be a really good day look if you wanted to do no red lips and just regular or um, adding the red lips kind of takes it to a night look. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. I use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and this will really help give your foundation a flawless finish and help it last all day long. For foundation, I'm using the Lancome Re-Energy and a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to pat this all over my face and I use small bouncing motions to help blend it in. And it is a little more time consuming than using a foundation brush but it really helps to give kind of an airbrushed finish and nice coverage. I'm also going to blend this down my neck so that it has a nice seamless finish. Next I'm taking the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay and I'm going to make triangles under my eyes, on my chin, down the bridge of my nose, and on my forehead. This will help hit the high points of your face and I'm using a damp beauty blender but this side, this time the pointy side, and really just working that product in, still using the same patting motion that I did with the foundation, and that will blend it in nicely. And this color is a little bit lighter um, than my foundation, but it actually matches pretty well. So it doesn't highlight as much as I'd like it to, but it does give um, a nice coverage. I am taking the Lancome Absolute Powder in the color Pearl, with a fluffy brush to help set my foundation and concealer. And this will help lock in and set your foundation for the day. And you can kind of end up with some shininess after applying foundation. So this will help kind of mattify. But what I like about the Absolute Pearl is it still has a bit of shimmer. So it still brings kind of a dewy, youthful look to your face. Using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the color Eden, I am going to prime my eyelids for the eyeshadow and this will really help make the colors pop and last all day long. So I'm just gently rubbing this in with my fingers to blend that all in. To set the eyeshadow primer, I am using this bone white color from the Color Design Chic Elegance Lancome Palette. And you can use any bone white color for this. To fill in my brows, I always start by brushing all the hairs up. And then I take this Expresso color from the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. And I take a pointed angled brush and I just create a line kind of underneath my brows and start moving the product upward. And then I also do the same thing on the top and move it down so that it fills in all the gaps in my eyebrows. And to help make them look a little bit more natural, I take a spoolie and go back through the eyebrows and this will help disperse the product a little bit so it's not so dark. And to really carve that eyebrow out, I take a little bit of concealer on a flat brush and I create a line underneath the brows and then work the product the concealer downward so that it really helps blend it in. Next, I am curling my eyelashes because they are naturally straight and I can't live a day without them being curled. Next, I took this kind of champagne color from that Chic Elegance palette and started working it into my transition area. And it actually wasn't um, dark enough and the product wasn't coming off how I would have liked. So I actually switched over to the um, Too Faced Natural Eyes palette in the color Nudie. And I'm using a big fluffy blending brush and I am working this into the transition area over that champagne color. So this will help transition from that bone white shade at the top of our eyebrow to some of the darker colors we're going to be using in the crease. And then I'm going back in with um, Heaven, which is another bone white shade from the Too Faced palette to clean up my eyebrow. For a darker color in the crease, I'm taking Sexpresso on a Morphe more tapered blending brush and I'm working this into the crease and the corner of my eye to help build up a little bit of that smoky look. 
And again, we're not going too dramatic on the eyes today, um, on the eyeshadow, because we're going to be using big lashes and a bright red lip. So this will help just give it kind of a natural appeal without being over the top. I am then going back in with a clean, fluffy blending brush to make sure there are no harsh lines from that dark crease color. Next, I am going in with this champagne -y bright color on the first third of my eye. And it looked matte in the picture of the palette, but it is actually kind of a champagne shimmery color. So we're just going to work this onto the first third of the lid and then a pop of color in the corner of my eye. Then I am taking a matte brown color on a rounded eyeliner brush and I am just working that in underneath my lower lashes. And this brush helps kind of smoke out that look so it's not such a harsh line. For eyeliner today, I am using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner that comes in an ink pot and a small eyeliner brush and just going pretty closely along the lash line. Um, I didn't want to do a big dramatic wing today since I felt that the eyelashes and the lip weren't enough. For eyelashes, I am using the Iris Beauty Empress Lashes. And I got a little bit of eyelash glue on my eye, but I'll clean that up. To contour my face, I am using the Smashbox Contour Palette. And I'm first taking the bronzing color on a just generic brush and working that just under my cheekbones and along the top of my forehead. And this will help bring some dimension back to my face. Next, to deepen the contour, I am taking the darkest shade in the palette on an angled contour brush. This one is by e.l.f. and I'm really carving out the hollows of my cheek and that will help really carve it and make your face look a little bit thinner than it actually is. And I also go down the sides of my nose and a little bit on the tip and that will help give the illusion that your nose is a little bit smaller than it is. And lastly, I take the highlight shade and go on all the points that we hit with the concealer, so we'll go on our chin, underneath our eyes, down the bridge of the nose, and on the middle part of the forehead. For blush, I am taking this Lancome color and just brushing that on to the apples of my cheeks and kind of back into my hairline to follow a similar pattern that we did on the contour. And then I use the Beauty Blender to just blend that all in and make sure there are no harsh lines with my foundation and the contour. Make sure it all looks flawless and melts together. Lastly, for highlight, I'm actually using the Silk Teddy from the Too Faced Naturalized Palette. And this will just help brighten um, the cheekbones and draw some attention to the high points of your face. To finish the eyes, I am using Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes to coat the bottom eyelashes. And finally, to complete the look, I am taking the Kylie Lip Kit color Mary Jo. And this is a matte liquid lipstick, and I am just applying this on my lips. And I'm actually not using a lip liner today, but you can use that first to help really define the, the lips and even overline them a little. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I'll include in the description box all of the items that I used today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.